Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. Tonight is Cacophony Night, in case you're just joining us. Uh, and if you are, thanks for joining us. If you've been here before, you know how this goes. So let's uh, dispense with the pleasantries. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap, like this shirt, this phone case, uh, that shirt, uh, toilet paper roll. I don't know. We got a lot of shit. Uh, we also have some women's panties on a different site. Wow. I saw that and I was like, uh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I saw it. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do it. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have thongs yet. So if you're a thong lover or boxers or boxers, so uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, I'll slut out the guys too. Uh, but check out our site. It's down below. Uh, if you want some custom dice like uh, Big Red 2, uh, you can go over to Twitter and hit up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Ask them uh, what they can do for you. Ask and tell them what you would like. Uh, maybe they say yes. Maybe they say no. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike our raging successful game, uh, get yourself some Adventure Sense from OddFishGames.com with over 60 cents. You're bound to find something that you enjoy, even if it's putrid sewers that you dump into your friends' vents. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to write like me, only gooder, uh, check out their Shine System. That's oddfishgames.com, and they are working on fulfilling their Kickstarter. He's never going to get to you, Steve. Tonight, nobody gives a shit about Steve. He's uh, our mascot. It is cacophony, so let's introduce you to the players because we have a lot of shit to get through. Uh, David, you're up first. Who are you? Who do you play? Hi, I'm David. I play Zadar on this show, the Cacophony Campaign, or show, or soap opera, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I also play in the Calamity campaign, both A-side and B-side. I play Ingve the Druid, Ravenkin, and also uh, Crow, the Rogue Scout, who isn't very bright. <laughs> so, None of those guys are bright. None of us are. So, uh, You can also catch me on BTR, Between the Rolls, on Tuesdays, most Tuesdays, and uh, also um, every once in a while, One Shot. So. Very That's good. It, uh, last but not least, Carrie, same question, different answers. Uh, I am the dog wrangler. I will probably be having to leave several times to let the dogs out during the night. Um, but I play Camille, a necromancer, and I also play on the B side of uh, Calamity. Calamity. So, you know, when other people are too busy to show up, I fill in. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you're a fixture on that side, so tough shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here they go. It's fine. See, it doesn't matter if I mute because you can hear her in the other room. Folks, this is Cacophony. Uh, these guys are Nathian, in Nathian, uh, the Gnomish capital. Uh, they are frantically trying to figure out a cure for Mortimer J. Sneed's time dementia, as well as how to destroy his time amulet, and maybe even find a way to destroy the magic box that they've left back on an island. Uh, these guys uh, have a lot of questions, they need a lot of answers, and sadly they are not allowed, being non-gnomes, uh, into the great uh, library so of that's some Nathan. discrimination right there. That's right. That, that's right. It is just Fucking bullshit. Uh, yeah. But they will not let you in. Unfortunately, they have found an acolyte who has promised to get them an answer within the month. Uh, true to their form, uh, last time they were framed for murder after having a hot air balloon made out of green dragon skin blow up in a oh the no manity moment uh causing caustic damage uh to our fearless female our real female not the changeling uh um, <laughs> clarify <laughs> these guys got to spend two days in the clink nobody knows the trouble Robonite. i've seen uh in that time uh they were supposed to meet one uh Zeppelin Smith, uh, the chief architect of Dirigible Farms, where all the hot air balloons are at. Uh, they still have a dinner appointment with their newfound friend and acolyte, uh, Phineas Ferb. 
uh, and that is tonight. Right now, uh, they have recently discovered after being released from said clink that their longtime friend and purveyor of time, space, dementia, Mortimer J. Sneed, has found his way to Nathian uh, using Aerosmith and his balloon. Uh, Aerosmith and his beloved Suki the Witch from Freckland are also in town. Uh, to make matters worse uh, than the incarceration, the alleged attempted assassination of an Aarakocra prince, their old friend and compatriot Rosa the Pirate is allegedly in town and being sought after uh, by the Pick, uh, a group of assassins. So there's a lot of shit going on in Gnomeville. Uh, we rejoin them as they question Aerosmith and Suki, the witch, who can't keep their hands off each other. You guys are on the steps across the river uh, and through the woods uh, next to the Grand Academy. Whew. Uh, that's great all the time right. we got, folks. Have a great <laughs> night. Uh, okay, so you and Aerosmith and Suki, the witch, are here. You have confirmed that Mortimer called upon him to bring him to Nathian. Uh, what else do you have for Aerosmith? Why? Why did you take him? Yeah. He He's sick. Uh, he's got some personal issues, but I don't judge. Oh, okay. Well, Physically first of all, ill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I was unaware. It's not catching, is it? Maybe. Great. Maybe you two should, like, separate from each other. Uh, we've been doing no this doing. All They're still in the honeymoon phase, so. <laughs> I'm just irked, so Zadar is going to have to do the questioning. Okay. So. <laughs> I, I foresee throat punching in the future. Mm. I, nah, that would be a strong guess. <laughs> Actually, okay. it'd probably be a knee punch. Nice. What you got, Zadar? Uh, it's just like, okay, Mortimer is here. Where did you leave him? <laughs> He had to take a leak. So he's back at Dirigible Farms, or was. Dirigible Farms. Just enjoying the sights of the beautiful library. Can you believe all of the known information is contained within these walls? It is just truly dazzling. It is. And I got a message for you, young man. Mm -hmm. Your uncle wants to see you. That one? Yep. Yeah. Huh. He was not at the uh, dirigible farms when I landed. Uh, thank you. I will seek him out. I proceed to tell him what ha what befell dirigible farms, and that's probably why Zeppelin's not available, wasn't there. <whistles> oh, the that humanity. Is, that is impressive. Blew up, you say? Yeah. Blew up. Hope that doesn't happen on our ship. <laughs> let's not as let's hope I'm not, not. We've been, <laughs> where, yeah. where did they get the green dragon skin at i don't know they were testing uh they were testing balloons and... i'm guessing that didn't go well yeah did they not. didn't get it cleaned out properly it hurt. suppose they could have used the bladder the literal bladder from the green dragon Ew. wouldn't that be caustic too it depends has he had a checkup <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I love potty humor. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, I guess we better go ahead back there. So, Mortim Mortimer is just on the loose in the city. Uh, so. He said he had to uh, meet a friend here. A friend? Did he clarify or give any indication who that might be? Well, and you, you can see Suki is just all over him. He's like, ah, I was a bit distracted. I, he might have said, but I... Uh, ah, ah, ah. Right, right. Does he know that we are here? Because <laughs> I don't think we told him. <laughs> oh. Nope. Okay. Ugh. Well, Camille, I guess... Uh... Suki points out that they should get a room, you know, to rest. Yeah, um, can't think. Yeah, you guys it, go right ahead. Yeah. Please. Yeah. 
yeah. <laughs> I lean over to Camille. Don't tell him about Melly's place. <laughs> Not a chance. Uh, D12 against me, Zadar. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want him next door to us. Oh, what was that? That you threw oh, up? Wait, what'd you roll? Okay. okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to tell us what that means, are you? I am not going to tell you what that means. Uh, it is late in the day and people are starting to mill about. The shops are starting to close. Uh, keeping in mind, boys and girls at home, uh, this is Nathian, uh, the gnomish capital. Millie's place, which was just alluded to, is over here in the purple. That is where they are staying in room 12, I believe. Yeah, room 12 at Millie's place. Uh, these guys have uh, wandered around. This pink location, uh, as we all know, is, uh, what? It, what's it called? Because I didn't write it down. Peekaboo? Peekaboo Lounge. I did write it down. That's it. Uh, yeah. And this little plaza here next to the, the cabbage. It was uh, uh, Dealey Plaza. There we go. Uh, is where the assassination attempt occurred. Uh, these two saw a second story window fluttering, uh, possibly the sniper's perch. Uh, they have also been to the church of Nathian, which incidentally is their major deity. She is an ebony woman of moderate charisma. Uh, she is also the goddess of time uh because i finally found my deity spreadsheet wow uh, that would have been nice to know man right? <laughs> in the beginning. uh yeah i you know it, it was buried in my email because that was uh campaign one so that was a long time ago uh right. farms is over here it looks like strangely enough a stadium uh but that is where all the Hot air balloon slash dirigible slash Zeppelin Smith are located at. Uh, the rest of the town has or city has not been explored widely. So I leave it unto you two. Where would you like to go next? Well, I suppose we could wander back down to dirigible farms and see if we can see Mortimer. Uh, D12 against me, Camille. three six interesting take uh as you head across the plaza the sloping grass plaza right here uh you hear a familiar voice shout out to you friends and slowly i turn Where? <laughs> step by step Phidias Ferb, uh, with a stack of books in his arm, is waving frantically to you, and he drops one of them. It k-tunk, 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 down the grassy hill. You're going to get in trouble for that shit. Goes odd. Even odd with a one, lands at the feet of Camille. Zadar <laughs> casts me, and picks it up and floats it over to him. <laughs> like, are we going to get in trouble for that? Should you, are you allowed to check stuff out? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm just checking. He has an echo. As, as junior librarian head in training, I am allowed to take some of the tomes home as long as I check them out. Okay. Make sure you remove the dust cover and all just that. Just check it. D- don't we don't need any more trouble in this town. Uh, are we going to dinner? Or are you here to meet me? Sure. Yes. Let's do that. Remember, you guys yeah. were having a hard time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, shall we try the cabbage patch, or would you like to go to a different spot? Is there another spot that you would recommend? Something good, something tasty, something uh, a local would go to. Do you like fish? What yeah. kind of fish? Is it fried? Some of it is. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can go to Sushi's place. Sushi's, <laughs> sushi's, sushi's place for sushi <laughs> is right on the river, right here. Okay. Uh, it is not so much a restaurant as it is a uh, cart. A what? Like a cart? Like a sushi? Not cart. Not, not really a cart. More is like it a, a dive. Well, no, it's more like a drive up. Uh, oh okay yeah 
So there, there are chairs scattered throughout. Uh, as you arrive, of course, it is meal time. Uh, who wants to roll against me? I will. Okay. Twelve. Yep. Three. Eleven. Uh, you guys notice a large crowd of clerics headed that way, and you kind of pick up the pace, and you manage to become third in line at the sushi place. Yes. But you know what? Let's call it the sushi hut. Sushi hut. There we go. Nice. Uh, because Do you suppose a Flying J franchise would go well here? It might. Possibly. Uh, We're going to have to talk to our friend, maybe <laughs> see about getting getting a license for a franchise. <laughs> uh, Phineas uh, jumps up and he says, but my good man, uh, what do we got today? Apparently the owner is named Butt. Butt Hut. <laughs> Butt Hut. Okay. Awesome. Sushi's Hut. But hut. Uh wow. yeah, he says he has some nice I thought that was the name of the peekaboo was <laughs> the butt hut. Never mind. <laughs> you have you have you've totally blown off the peekaboo. Uh, I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> the, the best location for fucking evidence, and you guys are uh, <laughs> off on your that's side. probably where we'll find Mortimer anyway. That is Slut. probably true. Uh so uh Mr. Butt hut uh prepare something but he they're in cube form uh they have been deep fried and they smell like uh wine mm. well i'll have two <clears throat> uh, okay uh oh i seem to have forgotten my coin purse we've got it <laughs> okay very good uh Cheap and college he, student he asks for uh, port wine so port wine and uh, alcohol-soaked sushi bites uh, sounds delicious. Uh, Camille, as you walk up, uh, what do you want? Um, you have fish sticks. <laughs> fish sticks. Yeah. Maybe a crab stick or something. Fried like. sticks of fish. <laughs> We've got fried butter. Because oh. we're part of the Iowa State Fair and don't give a shit about cholesterol. God no! Is that a thing? Yes. Yeah, in the it Midwest really is. it is. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. They, they deep fry Snickers bars for God's sake. They'll be oh, fried Snickers bars. Candy. Yes, I've heard of, but butter. Yeah, yeah. butter. Uh, yeah. Dumb wow. shit. Um. So that's the operative word. Ooh, do you have <laughs> any scallops? Yeah, we got scallops. I take some scallops and garlic okay. sauce if you have it. Yes, we have garlic and cheese sauce, either or. One of each. Fair enough. That'll cost you extra. Uh, right. Zadar, what do you want? Uh, you start to get jostled from behind. The clerics oh. are a little bit... Uh, getting uh, start... impatient. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it impatient. They're kind of rude, too. Uh, Mr. Butt, <laughs> set me up with a chef special. Okay. Whatever the chef recommends. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, he gives you scallops and the fish nuggets. Okay. He that's charges funny. you twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need five gold from one of you fuckers. Okay. I slide that over. Come on. Come on. Uh, Zadar, you turn around and they're all fucking gnomish clerics. And they're kind of on the portly side. So you can probably guess they are not in need. Can I sustenance? accidentally twist my quarterstaff and whack him in the junk? Uh, give me a d20. Wow. <laughs> straight, straight up. It's an accident. I'm, I, I'm hoping for a one. 17. Yep. You catch uh, the cleric right in the gonads. Oh, goodness. Uh, Are you okay? As he drops, the other clerics look at you. Give me a perception check, both of you. Award <laughs> 15. Uh, let's see, perception uh, 18 for Zadar. A smirk crosses your face, Camille, but you and Zadar notice familiar faces standing behind the clerics. They are the members of the pick. Uh, God damn it. Mm. One of them looks at you and goes, <laughs> It was an accident. 
accident. Uh, the, cleric, the cleric that was struck uh, speaks to you in a very high-pitched voice. <laughs> you, know, you need to watch yourself. Blah, blah, blah. You now have your food, and there is a patty, There's a patio table. Bye, 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 bye. Opening up as Phineas. <laughs> not want any problems with the local religion. Sure, sure. Uh, you guys sit down for the meal, and Phineas pops the two tomes on top. You notice that one uh, is a medicinal book, herbology, basically, uh, and the other one is something by the author Asimov. Never heard of it. Okay. Uh, he, he okay. says he, he needs to research these two tomes. Hopefully they will give him a better starting point. Uh, he then begins to give a long-winded dissertation on what he has come up with. Uh, remember, this guy looks exactly, exactly like Mortimer J. Sneed in gnomish formation. Uh, and he has the gregarious nature of your uh, professor from the Great Academy. <laughs> you met we his met father. Him. Oh, that's right. We met his father. Hey, you met his father, who also <laughs> looks exactly looks like, like Mortimer. Mortimer. <laughs> uh, weird. That's not good. Totally weird. Um, as he goes on, he notices that you two are getting bored. You finished your meal, and he's like, "I digress." Has there been any uh, procurement of more evidence uh, pursuant to the unfortunate mishap of several days ago? No, not not a not recently. I mean, well, rumor has it uh, that the prince's entourage are not happy and firmly believe that the judge has made an egregious mistake. Yeah, we kind of gathered that by his reaction in the. Uh, in, in the judge's chambers, so... Well, when the judge threw MSNBC out of the trial, they knew something was up. Oh, yeah. Because that's just bullshit. <laughs> uh, but uh, you guys really need to kind of make sure that your name stays clear. Otherwise, I foresee uh, another night of poor rest uh, within the gulag. Agreed. What the hell? It's been two days. I, we'll, if we'll my, figure if this my ass out. were on the line, I, I'd be all over that shit. But all right. oh no, you guys are fucking talking and yapping around with people. Uh, but he, he goes ahead and talks about it. And he goes, we don't have very many hand crossbows here in town. I think that is a very valuable clue. That is, that's some very pertinent information. Why not? Now, now remind me, where did you guys find that? That was found by the Blue Dream. We did right? not find it. That's right. That that was that was given to you at the trial or exactly. at the hearing. Okay. And uh, he recommended that we do not touch it. <laughs> yes. Uh, don't want to leave Prince. Uh, so oh, why are there not a lot of hand crossbows here? This is an unusual item. Uh, that is more of a elvish kind of uh, armament. Not a gnome. Hmm. Well, I guess we better go to the peekaboo and check it out. Well, uh, my best wishes to you. I will go ahead and try and contact you again uh, when I find out more information. If you happen yeah. to see anyone that kind of resembles your dad, get a hold of us. Well, my uncles are around. That's not an immediate relative. It would be a stranger to you. Yeah. Okay. Resemble yeah. your, your family. Why, I've never thought of a doppelganger being present here. That would be interesting. There you I mean, go. Zadar, Zadar's eyes kind of go, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he thanks you for the meal, tells you next time he will buy, uh, and gives a loud burp of satisfaction, and gives a thumbs up to Butt Hut who tips his greasy spoon on his greasy forehead and waves to him. Uh, perception check, both of you again. All righty. 13. Not good at that time. 10. Uh, neither one of you noticed. Fair enough. Uh, okay, what would you like to do? 
uh, make our way to the other butt hut, the Peekaboo Lounge. <laughs> Fair enough. As you mill about through the collective of tables, you see your old friend, the D-Nutter, uh, kind of scowl at you, Camille. Uh, he and his uh, immediate group uh, kind of scowly faces at you. Uh, funny, you do not recognize any of this group from the short amount of time you were in chapel. Uh, you also notice that their uh, robes slightly differ. So you aren't sure if it's a different sect? A, or a different imposters. Different order of the group? Well, they're gnomes, so. Right. <laughs> Hard Doesn't to say. They can't be imposters. That's true. As you walk along the promenade headed for uh, the Peekaboo Lounge, uh, you see your two associates still looking around. Is, seen, it, is it Colonel Clank following this? Yeah, he's he's at a distance though. Okay, all right. Yes, because uh, these guys I forgot to mention have a war forged escort at all times, right. as they are considered still of suspicious nature. Uh, right. Colonel Clank uh, will not make his presence known unless needed to be. Uh, the two individuals I'm talking about are from the Order of Pick, and one of them shouts out, "You seen Rosa yet?" Why would we? No. <laughs> it's our understanding she's your friend. We're acquaintances. We're acquaintances. But yeah. we're on our and own. Here comes the email from Carol. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is like trying to cover our asses here. You're right. Yeah. I'm right. So we're here on a on a deal. So Sure. Uh, as uh you feign ignorance and continue on. You're walking uh -huh. through the very crowded area, and uh, Camille, you get bumped into. Uh, a lady turns around. Uh, my apologies, little one. She's about half elven, uh, taller, but not overly so. Uh, and she continues along her merry way. Have I missed anything? Do I have all my shit? If you're checking, give me an investigation check. Oh, well, that's not going to be good. And uh, you said elvish woman? Half elvish. Half elvish. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, 16. Mm. Uh, yeah, you got all your stuff. You also have a piece of paper wadded up. Oh, well, I have to, well, I go somewhere surreptitiously to open it. Uh, you can kind of lean over the riverbank, uh, notice the residual cheese festival uh, floaties are all, oh, oh, all, <laughs> all out, because uh, it's been a couple days. Uh, and uh, the note says two words, Raleigh. Espinoza. Raleigh Espinoza. Well, I don't know that until unless Camille tells me. Oh yeah. You know what? I should have made it Rolo Tomasi. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, LA Confidential, folks. If you haven't seen that movie, oh, yeah. three hours. Rolo Tomasi. It's uh, worth yes. it though. It's Raleigh worth it. Espinoza. I lean over and I say, hey, that elvish lady just like gave me this note. This is what it says. Uh, I'll take the note and look at it. Uh, Camille, you look over to where the lady is. Fucking vanished, man. Of course she is. Mm -hmm. Fucking hot. Fucking elves. What is the name again? Rallo es Raleigh Espinosa. Raleigh Espinosa. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's got to be a very mishmash of ethnicities. Well, what's interesting is the initial it. of the first name. R. That was <coughs> that was monogrammed on the bottom of the crossbow. Maybe it's a pirate. R. <laughs> this episode is rated R. Well, so. do we keep going? 
Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll proceed over to the Peekaboo Lounge. Uh, as you arrive at the Peekaboo Lounge, it is after dinner, so apparently it's get your rocks off time. Uh, there is a line waiting. Uh, the bouncer. To get in? <laughs> yes. The bouncer is a rusty Warforged. Uh, missing one eye that kind of dangles out. Oh, well, that's just sad. Uh, well, uh, Millie D's Nuts has purchased one. Uh, this one clearly is not high functioning. It might be on the spectrum somewhere. Uh, so it is, I don't know, holding up a line for some reason. Uh, a few moments go by and you hear a pop, a sizzle, and a wee bit of smoke comes out of its head as it dangles down. Uh, the individuals it was interviewing uh, walk in as oh, God. everybody behind them. Uh, you guys are sixth in line. Uh, okay. And you guys make it in. The main area of the Peekaboo Lounge is reminiscent of a tavern uh because in the old days it was it has two floors obviously uh heavy arched pillars uh the bar is directly in front there is a dance floor in between the entrance and the bar and then uh seating to the left and to the right there are several small businesses in here if you are a Longtime viewer of the Sunday Margu campaign, you know that this is kind of like the roadhouse because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> nothing, nothing says classy like recycling shit. So uh, the Peekaboo Lounge uh, is way smaller, uh, but it is it is reminiscent of a small tavern, and the place is freaking packed. Uh, give me perception checks, both of you. Another die. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, 16. Four. Uh, I'm sure you... I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing a lot of stuff that you really shouldn't be seeing. Especially at my eye level. Ugh. Yeah, there, there's a group of... No, that's wrong. Uh, <laughs> there's a group of Scottish rangers right in front of you wearing kilts that, uh, uh, from your vantage point, leave little to the imagination, whereas Zadar, who is taller, uh, can see fairly well around the bar. It's very mm -hmm. smoky. Uh, there's a lot of hookahs. I know, here. Jesus, dude, we gotta get to the edge. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, people are shoving in behind you. These uh, people don't shave anything. I'm just they're saying. Braided. They're just braided. saying. <laughs> they're braided down there. It looks Ugh. like they have three penises. Uh, as you look around, Zadar, you can tell that there are gambling uh, uh, under the table, dealings going on, uh, and of course, uh, the adult trade. Not really trade because this is a free market. So uh, they are sex workers. Right. No right. shame. Just saying. So is there a man, someone that appears to be a managerial position around there? Most assuredly, there is a managerial position. He is a fat slob of a gnome uh, with a cigar behind his ear. His nose has been broken so many times it looks like he has a pig nose uh oh, okay. he has numerous tattoos none of them seem to be matching it seems to be a mishmash possibly uh some kind of naval individual uh and he wears overalls but only one of the straps is secure if you didn't know any better you'd swear this guy's name is porky Okay. okay. And if you didn't grow up in the 80s, you don't get that joke at all. Yeah, yeah, they probably don't, Frank. And that movie did not age well. I saw it so I know. recently. Did not. <laughs> all right, I can't deal, so is it are you're going to have to ask. <laughs> oh, uh, great. <laughs> well, you're all like, mm, he'll like you. I, yeah, okay. 
So I approach. Uh, I keep my down. quarter staff at the ready in case I need to whack his nuts for you, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I approach and it's just like, pardon me. <laughs> Are you the proprietor, owner, manager of this fine facility? Well, look at you. And he takes his meaty fist and smacks you right on the ass. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you looking for a job there, sweetheart? Uh, I remove his hand from my ass. Oh, he, he, he did that already. He just gave it a smack. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't do that again. Um, uh, uh, no, not looking for employment, but... A female gnome comes up behind this guy and throws her arms around him, giving him a wet, sloppy kiss, <laughs> leaving red lipstick smear on his cheek chomping what appears to be some kind of gum uh, and says, hey, Porky, what's up with this new girl? Uh, yeah, not interested in working here. <laughs> hey, hey, sister, you need to shove off. Uh, she and Porky then get into a brief argument where he lifts his hands and threatens to send her to the moon. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's her name, then, Alice? Uh, you haven't asked. So A Y or A L Y C E Alice. Uh, so Porky wants to know, well, if you aren't here to work, what are you here for? And can I watch? Now we add, I, I'm here uh, because I, I'm looking for somebody that might have procured a room. Uh, I don't believe her. Two days ago. <laughs> Porky looks around, he goes, are you shitting me? No. And, and as he says that, Zadar produces her hand and in it, uh, yeah, almost a holographic image of Rosa. <laughs> it's just like, have you seen this individual here? He 12 against me. Okay. Nine. Uh, nine, actually. Reroll. Twelve. Oh, you got it that time, too. <laughs> uh, never seen him before. Chuck yeah. Norris, never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Alice. I produce a gold piece. Are you sure? Uh, Porky has no knowledge. Alice rips the gold piece out of your hand and throws it into her loose-fitting bodice and goes, I seen him. Him? Uh, he's a pirate, right? But him. <laughs> her? I don't know. They? Yeah. It I is Rosa, fair. so. <laughs> yeah. Rosa might be in disguise. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I um, have a pay, page boy haircut trying to blend in. Yeah. Uh, do you know which room that they were in? No, I didn't see her here. Oh, uh, where'd you see her? <laughs> Sleight of hand. He makes another coin appear in his hand. <laughs> uh, she was asking for directions to the library. A library. He's apparently a reader. Okay. So as far as I know, <laughs> I pipe up and say, "Hey, you know the other night when that uh, Jay almost got killed?" D twelve against me. Four. Nine. Yeah, wasn't me. Well, no, hmm. I didn't think it was you but did anybody come in here like you, you see alice's hand kind of slide down the back of uh porky's britches as oh. she grabs a handful of ham oh okay okay i use uh... mage hand <laughs> and i grab his balls and squeeze them really hard 
Uh, you noticed that it's only uh, five pounds, but yeah, five pounds of proud torque on, on somebody's junk. Yeah. You, you noticed that uh, that does not work. Oh my, I got to let the dog out. Okay. Does the mage hand not work or her squeezing them does not work? <laughs> squeezing doesn't work. Okay. Um, what is the, the name that, that was on the, I, I look at the, the parchment again at the name. Uh, what was it again? Parchment. Espinoza. Oh, Raleigh. Or, uh, Raleigh, Raleigh okay. Espinoza. All right. Um, He's got nudicles. Yeah, he's got, got nudicles. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, I he, asked has, Kat... he has an 11 inch tongue. <laughs> I asked, uh, I asked, well, I'm looking for somebody else here, but um, name's Riley. Raleigh. Sorry. Riley, Raleigh? Never heard of him. Riley or Riley. That's, uh... Uh, Porky pushes you to one side. Deacon, my friend, what can I do for you? Uh, the deacon, the cleric that uh, Camille smashed in the nuts, uh, is behind you. Apparently he is seeking some companionship, possibly a massage uh, to cure his bruised egos. Right, right. He uh, sneers and uh, asks for his usual. And Alice, she ain't here, she's sick. I looked down to, to Deacon and it was like, Deacon, <laughs> your friend when you see them regularly, is there a particular room that you guys use? I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh yeah, I'm the companion of the one that. Uh, yeah, her. I know. I see. She's right next over. to you. Yeah. What's it any of your business? I'm uh, just Porky, curious. Porky just kind of lightly taps you on the chest. He goes, "We do not ask questions here." Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, he says, "We can get your replacement." same room that you want. The deacon kind of shrugs his shoulders, says yes. His entourage is not with him. Okay, his entourage is not with him. Uh, so the deacon leaves and goes up a set of stairs. Okay. Uh, give me, I'm watching. <laughs> give me an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, Camille um, is still worried about the uh, Scottish Rangers. <laughs> God. Okay, 18. Uh, he goes to the second floor and goes into a corner room. Uh, you realize... That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you realize that uh, he's on the wrong side. He's on the wrong side. Okay. Yeah, but that's only assuming that that is his regular room and not the room in question, so... That's what you heard, uh, okay. his regular room. Okay, that it is his regular room? Yeah. That's what you heard. Okay. Whether or not it's accurate is unknown. Okay, but it's uh, completely the opposite side of the, the building? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. A bell is heard outside. Uh, everything stops inside. And all of a sudden, a lot of the individuals there for services rendered uh, hit the door and take off running. Uh oh, uh, Porky, what gives? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's the bell down by the dock. There must be a problem. Okay, so that implies an emergency. Yeah. So. Yeah, that implies bad for business. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's just like, wow. Okay. In a scant few moments, uh, you guys, and of course, the deacon upstairs, Deacon Jones. Uh, As Deacon Jones come running out with like nope. in half trowel or something? No, yeah, he does not come out. Uh, the standard employees. Uh, 
grab seats, they realize the business just dried up. Wow. Okay. Um, Got any more gold pieces there? No, no. You're you're about as helpful. Uh, you're a very helpful gentleman anyway with their Not information. Not for cows. So, um, One of the employees comes down and goes, Porky, can I go home tonight? I, you know, doesn't look like I'm going to get much action. Uh, this individual is a human. Uh, she's about five, six. She has two different colored eyes, uh, and she's missing her front teeth. Oh. Uh, and she has a very powdery smell about her, and she has a very unusual voice in that, Porky, can I go home? Because it doesn't look like I'll be working tonight. You love that voice, don't you, dude? I do. <laughs> that and the Russians are the only ones I can do for shit. Okay. This is Lydia Van Schnozzle. Uh, for those of you who watched uh, BTR this past week, we invented some NPCs, and this is one we of did. them. So Lydia would like to go home. Uh, Porky says no. Uh, they'll be back. I'm sure it's not that big of an emergency. Uh, the door opens and give me perception checks, both of you. <clears throat> uh, eight. Uh, uh, 15. Uh, a drunken one armed individual staggers in. Zadar, you smell burning wood. Camille, you are puzzled at the appearance of this individual. Uh, he kind of walks like he's got a bourbon drunk going on, uh, and he is missing his arm. Uh, and he goes up to the bar area to drink. There appears to be some kind of disagreement about a tab. Uh, Porky and Alice... Uh, are standing there and they're like, are you going to buy something or are you going to just hang out? Um, let's go get a drink. Yeah, we'll go to the <laughs> bar and order a drink. <laughs> uh, the individual smacks three gold pieces with his good arm down on the bar. The bartender, a female, uh, bites it uh, and says, well, one of these will cover your tab. And he goes, Use the other two for my other tab. And let me start drinking. You have two tabs? Well, paid off his one tab. Now he's starting another. Oh, okay. Uh, got it. So, <laughs> as you walk over, Camille, you also smell burning wood. Uh, go ahead and give me perception checks again, please. So is this guy like smoldering or anything? <laughs> like you got that? a peg leg that caught on fire. Um, perception... So I got 20, not natural. Is it our? Okay. Uh, net 20 plus 8, 28. Is it our? You noticed when the door opened, you could smell the burning. Um, okay. insight, insight will tell you something's on fire outside. As you both meet up with the bar, you notice that this guy smells heavily of smoke. Right. Uh... Heavily. <laughs> I, I pop up, up and I go, dude, what's going on out there? Fire. Ship's on fire. What ship? Uh, the Clangor. Clangor? Does that sound familiar? Nope, never heard of it. Never heard of it. All right. Is yeah, merchant, merchant ship from the west that caught on fire. Oh, is that the Can't... only one? So far... They dropped the line and pushed it out into the bay. The captain's going to be mad when he finds out. Wow. How'd oh. it catch on fire? I don't know. Was there anybody on board? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I had, I had, uh, I had, uh, I had uh, fallen asleep in a dinghy. Okay. A little in a dinghy. dinghy. A okay. Little, Why are you in a on. dinghy? I was tired. Gotcha. Okay. Was and, the dinghy on on the dock or was it 
in the it water. Was, it, it was tied to the dock in the water. Uh, the bartender pushes over another pint and he takes his good arm and just fucking Guzzled it, huh? and drains it. He now has a ring of foam around his face. <laughs> nice. You've got a beard. Uh... Oh, that's right. I forgot. He has a reverse mohawk. So this part is gone. This part is all bushy. Uh, okay. <laughs> because I have a beard. I shaved that off a long time ago. Ah, okay. Um, how often do you come here, man? A lot. A lot. Yeah. Were you here about two days ago? Beer breath is just overpowering. I'm sure. Uh, Was I here two days ago? D12 against me. Okay. Horror. Could have been. <laughs> sure, I probably was. Hey, were you uh, around when that uh, Eric Hakra almost got whacked? The what? The Eric Hakra. No, the whacked? Uh, Eric Hakra don't whack. They're too small. No, they almost got killed. <laughs> oh! He, uh, oh, I'm familiar with that. I, uh, I had firsthand knowledge of it. I was right there when it happened. Oh. It was a horrible incident. I He's standing right next to me. And we were talking. Uh, right really? at the river. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was incredible. Okay. I, I, I think maybe that it was meant for me. Okay. Well, I'm kind of got a, it out for you. I'm kind of a rogue kind of person here. A lot of people, a lot of people like to, like to, like for me to shut up. <laughs> I'll order a pint and send a pint his way. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, we need to go somewhere else the, the yeah. bartender's shaking her head maybe yeah. we should go up and tap on the door <laughs> where the uh, cleric is in I, do you really want to in- interrupt that but I can use I mean, mage hand to do it how far away does mage hand go 30, 30. yeah let's do that okay oh, wait, wait. Top knock. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, you, you just hear humping noises going on. Perception check. I'm 30 feet away. How do I hear that? You could probably hear it. <laughs> the deacon's yelling for Nathan. <laughs> Seven. What is it? Perception? Yep. Oh my god. Uh, I'm probably regretting my perception is so high. It's over 18. Uh, you exclaim after hearing the noises and as you look across the open section because you're on the second level uh, the open section extends down to the first directly opposite the deacon's room. Uh, you see the uh, I'll use the term skank uh, that wanted to go home early going into a room insight tells you it's the room that might be the room right right is she alone oh sorry you, you're too busy listening to oh nathan oh nathan if it's not I, i'll, I'll balls, tap her it's out this. and it's just like i believe our friend who who was uh tired of her labors uh, is in the room <laughs> in question. For God's sake, let's go. Okay, so yeah, we'll make our way over there. Uh, you go around. Uh, some of the working girls, some of the working men are hey, you uh, interested in a little... Not really. Uh, <laughs> not tonight. Uh, yeah, if you need somebody, I'm available. We know where to look. <laughs> Eyes up here, pal. Uh, um, you get to the room pal. where, <laughs> where the doc, I didn't say who you were talking to. Men can be uh, sex workers as well. They yeah. just don't make them money. Uh, you get to the room where you saw the toothless wonder go in and the door is shut and you hear 
what sounds like a song inside, but a ooh, ooh my milk jugs bring the boys to the yard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've been waiting police. all night for that one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just throw back to the early 2000s. So sad. Uh, okay. So, yeah. I kicked the door with my boot. <laughs> uh, the door flies Boy. open, and there is the lady. Oh, no, Jake's bringing all the boys to the. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you should probably comb that area. Ah, uh, oh, come on, man. She is, she is, she's not great. All right, right. She's friendly, but every time she talks, she kind of whistles because she doesn't have the front teeth. Right, that's no, fine. Oh, what was her name? Something uh, like it, it, it's, are, are we doing both? Are we doing? No, oh, no. No, 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 no. We just uh, want to talk a little bit, but Lydia von Snozzle. I uh, hold out a gold coin for. Her. Thank you, dearie. <laughs> so it's just you, and he's watching. Sure, let's go into your room. <laughs> you're, all, you're already in the room. We're already in the room. You oh, kicked okay. it open. And, and there's yeah. a there's a there's a smell. Uh, <laughs> oh, is I'm the not gonna lie. It's the a window powder. Open? powdery smell uh oh. no and that would uh you you can ask her to do it could we please open the window i don't think you like that but we can uh she lifts open the window and smoke billows in oh uh, god damn it smelling strongly of wood fire probably uh the i don't SS know is that better uh, than the smell that's in here uh d12 against me probably not but <laughs> Four. So, seven. Uh, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's a mishmash. All uh, right, I guess we uh, close the window. <laughs> right. Zadar takes a look outside from the window to see what he can see. And I guess I guess it's a clear sh shot. Clear, no point clear intended. Clear shot. Yep. Clear yep. shot. Uh, people okay. milling about. But yeah, so, you could dead on. Lydia, were you, were, were you working about two days ago? Oh, I work all the time, dearie. Mm, Were you I'm here when of... the, the Eric Cockrow was shot? No, I was not. Where were you that day? I uh, was in the loo. I had some of uh, the Butt Hut special, and it did not agree with me. Oh, okay. So who was up in your room? Uh, nobody. This is my room. This is my office. Welcome to my office. Yeah, Did you leave weird. your your door open when you adjourned from your office? I was in quite a hurry. Okay, that would be so. Yes. When you came back, did you notice anything amiss? Uh, I came back with a gentleman caller. I was preoccupied and could only see torso, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, I hope you cleaned everything up before you got back there. Uh, the cleaning lady will be in next. Never. <laughs> no, I meant your person. Your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my bad. God. Okay. Uh, okay. She, we're not talking uh, Hollywood Madam level here. No, no, no. We're talking uh, Hotel Moliere level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we know somebody was in her room when she wasn't here. Right. Right. And you surmise I somebody was in here. Yeah. Yeah, we surmise. So I guess we look around and see if we see anything. Uh I've been given tours. Um did uh did they did the investigators come and check your room? Oh. They checked parts of my room. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm like I, what parts? I, I, uh, uh, she'll show you for another uh, coin. <laughs> for another coin, she'll show you exactly what the investigators saw. Okay. Oh, I've known those boys since they were little. They are frequent customers. Oh God. Oh Great. God. <laughs> but I mean, did they come hurrying up or whatever after the incident? Oh, so they always take their time, dearie. There's no I'm hurry sure about those do. boys. 
They do a very thorough job. <laughs> Wait, are I don't think we're talking about the same same you investigators. Okay. I was about uh, to say the investigators are warforged. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. The military. Oh, uh, it's warforged. The gendarme are warforged. The investigators are entirely different. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, the warforged so, uh, lack penises, so that's not going to work. And they don't investigate. Well, they have appendages. <laughs> they're, they're detectives. Okay. The, the detectives investigate. Yeah. Uh, so, the, I mean, the, if you want, you can go down and ask Colonel Clank. He's downstairs. I mean, we could. We could. So. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to do like a quick glance around the room. Is there anything that I would notice that stand that seems to stand out as maybe related to the incident? Every time you look around, she's leaning forward. And remember, she's still topless. So, and she is she like purposely trying to obstruct my view, or is she's just trying she's to solicit? She's enticing you with her smolder. Of course, I take my <laughs> stick and whack it against. You know, I'm doing the whack, only female version. Calm her down. I don't think that's going to calm her down. <laughs> What oh. stuff, dearie? And she bends over and exposes her ass. Oh, oh geez. it'll cost you a coin, but okay, there are uh, no limits. I'm gonna do an Let's investigation get the fuck check. Out of here, I, I rolled a twenty. Do I notice anything you do related indeed. to the investigation? Uh, you notice a poker chip. A poker chip. Yeah, a, a marker from a casino. Oh, okay. Uh, I asked Lydia, do any of your clients pay you in poker chips? What kind of a scumbag do you take me for? I'm in cash only. Cash only. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I just noticed that there's a poker chip here. Would you That's mind if I my that? poker chip, obviously. Give it here. <laughs> Insight check, both of you. Okay. All right. Uh, Insight. 17. Uh, yeah, <laughs> eighteen. Uh, both of you realize this is not her poker chip. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, slide her hand. I slide her a gold coin and palm the the poker chip. It's just like, oh, <laughs> my mistake. It was a gold piece, not a poker chip that I that I that I saw. She takes the gold piece, pops it into her mouth, starts to bend it down, noting that she has the big missing front teeth area, uh, and then. Drops her hands, her tongue comes out, rolls the coin on uh, it, and then she lets it slide down her tongue, bouncing off her chest, all the way down because she forgot she doesn't have her shirt on. Uh, oh, that's it impressive. Ro it rolls underneath the bed. You know, she makes her money the old-fashioned way. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is it Deadpool always says? Oh, uh, I can't remember the line. Uh, God, what is it? Uh, Absolute, not maximum effort. Yeah, maximum, maximum effort. Is yeah, maximum says. effort. Okay, so she uses maximum effort to put it away. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, so she says, uh, a gentleman caller comes to the door and knocks and sees you three standing there. He goes, <laughs> "My lucky day, alrighty." Uh, Let's get this party started, ladies. And he hate starts to, strip. Oh, I hate to disappoint I you, so sir, but here. we're we're leaving. He, he's fat and he's blocking away. Oh, okay. Well, he proceeds to do the helicopter, an oh, inspiring geez. helicopter. Uh, Is Lydia, it like the helicopter on the hat? Uh, it's like the helicopter you dig out of your gutters. <laughs> oh, that's even sadder. Lydia, however, is all in, so to speak. Uh, grabs a hold of his arm and flings him onto the bed and proceeds to jump on top of him. Okay, uh, I take and that on, to get and the on fuck that, out. Yeah, we get the hell out of there. <laughs> Uh, we closed the door behind us. <laughs> Click. Yeah. You can still hear the, oh, oh, 
oh, Nathan. Oh, yeah. Nathan at the far end. Uh, Somebody's yeah, not great. doing their job. Thin walls. Uh, well, you know, maybe he's using uh, some kind of Viagra. Supportive ability. <laughs> Probably. Cure, cure flaccid or something. <laughs> uh, people at home for the first time are like, what the fuck am I listening to? Uh, if you look over the railing, you can see Colonel Clank just standing there. Okay. Well, let's go down and talk to him. <clears throat> yeah, we got a Colonel as Clank. You, as you reach the war forge, uh, the door opens and in walk uh, the Rangers. Uh, their kilts do extend down past their knees. Thank God. Uh, and they smell like they've been in a forest fire. Uh, they're covered in soot. Uh, pretty soon... The patrons are returning. It's about to get crowded up here. Um, I I asked Curdle to join us outside. <laughs> As you guys walk outside, you hear, Oi! Oi! Okay. Turn around. Porky, give her with the job! Noted. <laughs> Uh, I, I know who to ask for. <laughs> uh, Alice licks his chin to his ear. Uh, oh. As you guys step outside with Colonel Clank, uh, the Warforged asks if you're done for the night. Just about. I, just about. Uh, I produced a poker chip to him. Um, do you recognize this? I'm sure he's got some kind of database or something. It is an item used for casinos. Do you know which casino? Does it say the casino's name on it? You flip it over and it says Monty's Casino. Monty's. Do you? Obviously, you know where Monty's is. Do we have is. a casino named Monty here? Oh, yes. What time of night is it? And it's starting to get there. Okay. So we probably need to go back before we get our throat slit. Yeah. Probably yeah. Do we, because... Do we have a curfew? No, you don't have any curfew. Okay, you, no, I you mean... You just know uh, that somebody was following you well, and the night it, before. Yeah. Like the bridge, like bad. Yeah. We have to cross that. No, you guys are on... Well, let's bring it up. You guys are on the right side of the bridge. You're about okay. a block away uh, from your place. Okay. Uh, you guys are here. Mm -hmm. Your place is right there. And where is Monty's? Right here. Wow. Okay. Still, that's on the good side of town. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I would he have to follow us to Monty's? Yes. Okay. Um, we inform, uh, I tell, uh, the Colonel that, uh, uh, we would like to go and check that out as you wish. He loves us. No, yeah, it's his job to follow you guys. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Know, he's analytical. He so says. it's just, yeah. <laughs> he said, as you wish. Oh, oh very good. Oh, okay, Jesus, I, I Jesus guys. I missed it. So, um, okay. okay. Uh, he waves his hand and allows you to go on. Remember, he is trying to maintain a discreet distance. So he's not right. going to be all chummy with you and talk to you. He is just keeping an eye to make sure you don't kill anyone else. Right. Of course. Right. So, uh, yeah, we start making our way to Monty's. Okay. A lot of vagrants peeing into the river. Awesome. Uh a little bit of troublemakers, a little bit of revelers as you walk along. Mm -hmm. uh, the massive church to Nathian is right there again. Uh, let me bring it on up. Uh, you walk past the Cabbage Patch. Obviously, it's closed because it's it's not quite the witching hour, but it's getting there. You had a lot of fun in uh, the Peekaboo Lounge. Yeah, lots of fun. Ooh. Uh, and you get to this point and you see two, uh, give me an insight check. Both? Yep, both of you. Uh, 
ass. Son of a bitch. Nah, uh, I rolled terrible. Seven. You just notice a pair of lovers on the bridge. Okay. Oh, please don't let it be Hero Smith. <laughs> uh, I, I don't recognize them, though, right? They are mashing their faces together. They're mashing their faces no idea together. Who they are. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so we just walk on by. <laughs> Uh, your roles were pathetic enough. Uh, you do not overhear. You do not see. You do not notice. Uh, as you walk along, there is the butt hut location. Uh, there is another late night diner uh, right here. Uh, it is serving food if you're interested. Uh, the shops in gray are all retail. Uh, okay. But they got to be closing at this time, right? Oh, the, no, they've been closed for a while. They okay. close at dusk. Uh, so what is there this, are few, Europe? Yeah, well, yeah this is a, there are a few private residences here. Uh, this area is uh, not bad. Uh, okay. it, it's one of the better blocks that you've seen. Uh, and when you were going to the Cheese Festival or the Asiago celebration, <clears throat> there were crowds. So you couldn't really tell what kind of status uh, this location was. Uh, and you continue on. Uh, um, actually, I was kind of interested in, in the location, the, the eatery. What is what is it? Uh, it is something called Pizza Hut. Pizza Ooh. Hut. Okay, I think we can make a stop. <laughs> can you get it by the slice? I don't know. You guys going in to check? Yeah, we're going to go in to check. Sure. Uh, as you go in, uh, you open up the door and it's dimly lit. It almost looks like it's closing. The smell is awesome. Uh, as you walk in, you notice that you are behind a couple of other patrons. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh boy. 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 15. Oh, uh, 14. Uh, Zadar, you do not notice. Camille, you do. One of these patrons has a sword. Is Roll it... initiative. Uh, this is a robbery. Uh, it really? is a robbery. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Now, All right. one. Eight. Not one. Oh, son Hi. of a bitch. Uh, Camille, you notice the blade. You notice the scared looks on the proprietor's face. It's up to you. You got two uh, miscreants here. Are they in front of me? Yes, they are. Well, one is in front and one is cockeyed. I cast web on them. Fair enough. Uh, the pizzeria fills with silky strands. <laughs> wow 20 and 19 covering the proprietor completely uh the two men whirl around uh and realize the jig is up and the fight is on i didn't get them at all nope not with a 20 and a 19 you said they were in front of me yeah oh, son must, of a must bitch. be late you must be tired <laughs> uh actually you hit them but they were able to pull out immediately just like what's going on at uh, uh, that's what at, she at said. the, the Peekaboo Peek Lounge. Uh, Zadar, I'll let you go first, but you and I tied. Okay. All right. Uh, with that, uh, Zadar, uh, uh, three darts of magic missile. Sure. Uh, I can split them up, right, between the targets, or do they all have to focus on one target? No, you can split them up. I'll let you do that. Okay. Two to the one with the sword that was obvious, and then... Uh, you don't know anything. You just uh, know that Camille just cast a, a web spell. Apparently, she's going to rob the hut. Okay, is there one bigger than the other? No, they're they're both humans, uh, both kind of sailory types. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So let me. Uh, you some. know what? I, I'll give you a perception check again. Okay. All right. Uh. Ooh, uh. 11 a little better 
Yeah, this time you see the blade uh, and you figure out, no, Camille just wasn't being a bitch. There's something going wrong. Hey. So. Right. <laughs> I only cast Fog Cloud when I'm being a bitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you see the blade, so you realize, oh, shit, I walked into a robbery and it, Colonel it, Clank is much. outside. Uh, seven to seven points of force damage to one and three points to the other. Seven to yours, three to Camille's. Uh, the other one also has a short sword that was inside his cloak on Camille. 18 plus four. The backswing is 16 plus four. Jesus. Uh, the Ginsu is on it on Zadar. Uh, 13 plus 4, 17. Uh, 17 just And 15 plus 4, 19. These boys are carving you bitches up. I'm Can I use... use a reaction at this time? Uh, no, because you guys were doing it at the same time. So okay. you're All casting right. the magic missile, so no dice. Right. Uh, murder hobo dice. Uh, you both received one murder hobo and a one. Seven plus two. Uh, nine points of slashing damage to both of you. Round two begins. Uh, Camille, you hear oh, 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 as the proprietor is pinned against the back wall, covered in webs. Uh, not sure if you guys are more robbers or what's going on. Uh, Camille, you're up. What would you like to do? Um, uh, I will cast... Ray of Frost. Nice. Go ahead. Uh, Hit them. Hit them now. <laughs> 18. 18 hits. And you connect. He's getting his drinks frozen. That is... <laughs> you gave me these little tiny cards. I think it's 1d8 plus 2 per level. I think. What level are you casting that? Uh, eight. No, you you don't have an eighth level spell. Oh well, no, I'm sorry. Um, I have. Oh, never mind. Uh, two d eight. Okay, thank you. Because it do it goes by your level. So at fifth level two d eight, at eleventh level three d eight. Five and an eight. Uh, wow. 13. Nicely done. 13 hit points. Uh, you made a frosty. I say hot. <laughs> uh, Zadar, you and I tied. I will let you go again first. Okay. I am not going to mess around. So pulling my flame weaver dagger and my scimitar casting green flame blade, mm -hmm. I am going to make a scimitar attack. Sure. Uh, let's see. Nat 20. Nice. Plus 2D. Uh, the damage is uh, 16 points slashing with an additional uh, 7 points of fire damage. 30. Fair enough. And my offhand attack. Uh, ooh. Damn. Okay. Uh <laughs> Uh, does a 27 hit? <laughs> okay. And that is uh, seven points <laughs> of fire damage. 37. Uh, their attacks on Camille. Three and a nat 20 on Zadar. Four and a 16. So... Dirty 20. Uh, so 20 and dirty 20. Um, Your reaction is useless because you guys are working at the same time. That's it. Okay. Uh, four plus one, five hit points of damage to both of you. Uh, Zadar's guy is not looking so hot. Uh, Camille, your guy is hurt. So round three. Uh, meanwhile, outside. I call for him. Okay, you can yell. Uh, now proceed with your attack. 
Screaming in panic is a free action. <laughs> that is a free action. I'm not panicking. I'm just saying, yo, dude. Let's see, let's see if he hears. <laughs> well, I just rolled a 20. Oh. You, hit, you hit your guy. But, okay. But the Warforged is uh, looking at the lovers trying to understand what's well, going Jesus, on. He's, he's sitting useless. there. What is love? <laughs> okay, so I do Ray of Sickness. Okay, uh, he's going to be har harfing. He's about to get down with the sickness, huh? Uh, nice. Do I have to roll a save or do you have to hit me? Again, I can't see. On a field. Uh... Uh, make a ranged spell attack. So you hit me. Mm -hmm. Uh I take 2d8 and must make a con save. Okay. On a failed save, I am poisoned. Nat 20 again. Uh, so he's not poisoned, but he's not feeling so hot. So I don't get to roll for damage? Yeah, yeah 2d8. Okay. I'm just not poisoned. So I got an uh, 8 and a 4. Uh, and if you cast it at second level, you can add another one to it. I don't sure okay so give me one more d8 four what were your two previous rolls eight and five eight, eight four and four okay so 16. oh yeah he is not looking good now uh zadar you and i are tied i will still let you go first even though we're going at the same time okay Ooh. okay 25 to hit with the scimitar mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's going to be uh, seven plus uh, seven slashing and six fire for the scimitar. Okay. And the flame weaver, the offhand. Uh, 20 to hit, not natural. And uh, that is going to be uh 10 points of damage four slashing six fire cool uh on camille an eight and a three uh so 12 is the best i can do uh well my armor class is 12. Uh, you didn't uh cast the uh, major armor, so uh three hit points of damage on zadar <laughs> No shit. Another nat 20. Uh, and a 15 plus 4, 19. Uh, 19. And we're going at the same time, so I can't uncanny dodge. Correct. Okay. Uh, 5 plus 2, 7 damage. And your guy falls. Round 4. Camille. Uh, it is now 2 on 1. And your guy is pretty beat up i yell for the warforged again hello you again <laughs> who's gonna believe us they're just gonna think we're coming in here like beating up shit uh crying is a free action what do you want to do you can cast web i guess I'm kidding. Yeah, ruin all the pizza. So we have one one up. One up, pretty damaged. He is not looking good. He's uh So I cast magic missile. Okay. That'll uh, finish him. <laughs> that will that will actually finish him. Uh your three darts successfully connect. Uh I'll go ahead and roll three D four. Unless you roll three, you will incapacitate him. Eleven. Oh yeah, uh, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> he dies. He crumples to the ground on top of the other guy, uh, uh, and the Zadar steps over him and starts cutting loose the proprietors from the web. Oh, oh thank you, thank you, my friends, thank you. I sorry you about were, the sorry about the wrong. mess. No problem. You kept me safe. I appreciate that. I can. How can I ever repay you? Uh. 
some of your tasty pizza would be great if any of it's not covered in well just make sure that the wharf words out here knows that we didn't do anything bad that too (laughs) strangely enough uh do you go out and get the warforge camille uh yeah zadar uh he asks you what what would you like on my pie what would you like for your pie i will make it i'll make it specially for you you are my heroes you you uh, you are great people does he have a specialty pie i do have a specialty i hang on it will take 10 minutes Uh, please please uh, have some mead, and he hands you a glass of mead. Okay. Camille, as you go outside, you notice an unusual sight. Uh, Colonel Clank has a male and a female suspended in air. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Uh, they kind of resemble the lovers, uh, but Colonel Clank hears you, turns around, and says, is everything okay? I am busy out here. It is now. <laughs> well, You're inside. We, we foiled <laughs> oh. a robbery. So I just would like you to come inside to confirm that so nobody thinks that we're trying to be bad people again. Colonel Clank takes the two suspended humans and clanks them together nice. and lets go. They fall limply to the cobblestones in various positions of unconsciousness. Uh, down the street, you see a cadre of four warforged headed that way. Colonel, Cl- Colonel Clank, in his commanding voice, says, Arrest these citizens. Wow. Uh, <laughs> he goes in, and uh, the proprietor, oh, oh, the gendarme thank goodness uh these two ruffians uh attempted to rob me unfortunately he just kind of does the hand wave and colonel clank looks at you guys like what the fuck are you doing no not us them (laughs) citizen is it the ones on the ground or the ones standing oh the ones on the ground sit oh the ones on the ground oh they are great that these two they are great they are they are super uh, those two, they are bumps. Poof! <laughs> <on them. laughs> Colonel Clank uh, then takes ankles and then gives the old blood trail out the front nice. door. Uh, he's out there. Uh, Camille, you can tell Zadar, fuck load of cops out there now. <laughs> so, yeah. Something bad is going yeah, on. Yeah, we need to just yeah. sit down and have our pizza right here. We are. <laughs> uh, he makes it and uh, go ahead and roll an advantage on the taste. Uh, does uh, do they have the the red and white checkered uh, tablecloths? Yeah, this is just a like pizza a pizza. Hut. Hut. Yeah, so right. I get sixteen. Oh yeah, it's delicious. It's the uh, best fucking pizza I've ever had. Oh yeah, not that yeah. I know what pizza is, but it's seventeen. Good. Yep, you guys love it. Uh, the proprietor uh, introduces himself as Antonio Scarpacci. Uh, <laughs> and uh, says, you eat on the house one week. You come by tomorrow. I will get you something. I call it a calzone. Mm. Oh, that sounds delicious. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have saved, you have saved my business. No, oh, no. Oh, it, it was just all one. in a day's work for yes. us. <laughs> uh, you guys finish your meal. You can go outside. Uh, the guards are uh, three of the guards are gone. Uh, the two the two prisoners and two dead bodies are also gone. Although you see the blood trail headed over the bridge. <laughs> the cops are doing business. Yeah, so they're doing yeah. that. Uh, both of you give me perception checks. Okay. Okay. 17. Uh, yeah, uh, 25. Both of you overhear the discussion between Colonel Clank and the Warforge. Uh, apparently, the two lovers had just met. Uh, the male did something that the female did not like. The two became embroiled in a slap fight, for lack of a better term. And uh, the lady, uh, Missy Pyle, and the male... Raleigh Espinoza. 
Oh, uh, taken to jail. Well, at least we know where he's at. What was the female, uh, the half elf that we had seen? The half elf. The one yeah, that gave the, me the note. The, that gave us the note. It is not her. The, oh, these okay. are both humans. Okay. All right. Um, we tell. And, and so you guys know, know who Missy Pyle is, don't you? Uh, we tell Colonel Clank that the gentleman may be a person of interest. <laughs> of what? The grassy knoll. The incident yeah. involving the Aarakocra. To what level do you think this person is a person of interest? Um, well, to explain it, uh, <laughs> A note was dropped to us with this name. <laughs> Could I see the note? Yes, I hand it to him. He takes the note. <laughs> okay. Are you done for the evening? I think at this point, yes, yes we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, he will return you to your hotel room or your room at uh, D's Nuts, Millie D's Nuts place. Uh, give me perception check as you reach the second floor oh, of the, the Hojos. Of the Hojos? <laughs> 18. 18. Uh, odd even. Even. Zadar, you reach the door first. Uh, Camille, you look over the balcony and you see someone in the shadows again. Uh, you can't make out size or shape. You just notice that the shadow moves a bit. Zadar, there is damage to your door. Uh, okay. Uh, Zadar's going to investigate. <laughs> you open up the door and your place has been tossed. God damn it. Right. But we each had separate rooms or we're in the same room? Same we're room, different same room. beds. Yeah. Oh, different beds. Okay. My bed's destroyed. Camille's is fine or the whole room's tossed? Whole room's tossed. Okay. Your wow. shit is everywhere. Wow. Okay. Strangely, give me uh, investigation, both of you. Or Camille, did you want to go in after hearing the room's been tossed or do you want to keep an eye on the shadow? I'll keep an eye on the shadow. Okay. Uh, investigation? Mm-hmm. Correct. 21. Doesn't appear as though anything's missing. Okay. Uh, uh, Camille will have to check her stuff, but your shit's there. It's just up and scattered. Yeah. Um, do I notice anything in that investigation role? Like uh, anything got left behind or? No, but you do hear a thumping noise. Thumping noise. To, I look in the direction the thumping noise is coming from. It's on the back wall. Like coming from the room next to us or something? Or the room uh, behind yours. Oh. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> is anybody saying anything or nope. oh Nathan? Oh Nathan? <laughs> no, nope. Um, just, just a thumping. Okay. And the thumping abruptly stops. Outside, give me another investigation check, uh, Camille. 17. The shadow is slinking off in between two buildings. Um, let me go ahead and show you where. Uh, this large gray business that looks like a pawn shop in this alleyway right here. Uh, is where the individual the individual was here bird's eye view and presumably went north okay well i don't see any of this so well and i i shout out and tell him there was somebody here and they went this way uh we need to find Millie. Uh, I say that uh, there was there's a commotion next door or was, and I say commotion, but just thumping noise doesn't sound right. 
When you come into Millie's place, uh, you are at the front desk. Again, the Warforged right. is there. Warforged recognizes you today, so doesn't give two shits about you. You go up the stairs and out onto the balcony, you know, the Hojos, uh, right. and that's where you go. You can return down to the front desk. Uh, yeah, I do that. The Warforged is there and asks what he can do for you. Uh, yes. Uh... First of all, is Millie okay? Yes, Ms. D's nuts are is okay. Okay, our she is room, asleep. Our our room has been ransacked. When did this happen? We just discovered it. So sometime today or this evening. Is there any damage that might require your deposit to be revoked? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't think so i don't think so is anything missing uh at the moment nothing is unaccounted for there was no maid service today are you sure you just didn't leave it in a disarray yourself wow. i'm positive <laughs> i am positive he has to go through the questions it's like a telemarketer you is, slip him through the book it, have is, there an, is there a, uh, a guest in the room next to us? What kind of disruption? That's that's what I'm asking. Is there a guest next door to us staying in the next room? Uh, the Warforge gets up, goes over to the ledger. You are in room 12. Correct. Room 6 is directly behind you. It is currently occupied. OK. Can you tell oh. us by who? D12. Twelve. Six. I'm not permitted to tell you that information. Mm. Can you do a wellness check on a guest? What is a wellness check? <laughs> to see if the person is okay? There was a commotion. I'm talking like a Warforged tell. <laughs> I suppose I can. I will go up there right now. Uh, he heads out the door, goes upstairs. I assume you're following him? Yes. Uh, instead of going to the right to get to your room, he goes to the left because it's in a cube formation. Uh, goes around as he's coming up onto room six. Again, you hear the thumping noise, uh, this time from, the, from this side. Uh, the Warforge. Uh, the thumping continues. The Warforge. Uh, the thumping subsides. Uh, you hear some kind of disruption noise inside, and the Warforge uh, says, Housekeeping, you want me Yankee or Winky? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh i had to say it chris farley's dead i'm not violating anything uh yeah. the warforge points out uh administration uh the door opens clad in only a sheet and a shit eating grin is aerosmith of course it is of course uh oh hey guys I didn't hi know you citizen is here. everything all right <laughs> Oh, well, sure, but you know me. Uh, the Warforge looks over at you. Are you familiar with this individual? I am. <laughs> and not in the way, and yeah, I know this individual. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, the witch uh, is also clad only in a sheet uh, that barely covers nothing. And the room smells a lot like Love. Yeah, <laughs> As, uh, smells like love. Uh, uh, the Warforge uh, asks if everything is okay, if you are two consenting adults. Uh, they both laugh that off, and the Warforge says, there is no problem here, and clank, 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 okay. goes back to his position at the lobby. I I asked them, have, have they been here all day? Uh, no, we uh, had a late dinner. Uh and the witch Suki <laughs> uh, 
like a child. Uh, we also stopped by a very interesting location. Uh, it's called a lounge. Oh, okay. Yeah, that of the Peekaboo Manor? It was, and we met a friend. Uh, they had to leave, though. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, what friend was that? Uh, we didn't really catch the name. Good friend, then. <laughs> uh, good friend for an hour. Exactly. Okay. I I follow. Uh, no, I say our room had been ran, ransacked. I was wondering if perhaps you might have heard a commotion or something between the time you guys started to the time we knocked on your door. <laughs> uh, we heard no such commotion. Uh, we've been here for an hour or two. Uh, okay. Our All friend right. has left about an hour ago. Uh, promised us etchings by the morning. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, I hope this come out well for you. Uh, <laughs> but your friend, they, they, they just left immediately. They didn't stay around the hotel after he was. We, he or we she were was in flagranto. Oh my god! Right, right. All right, got it. Okay. Well. Would you care to come in and join us? Uh, I'm going to give a soft pass. <laughs> no, we're not joining Gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, speaking of soft, it's time for me to go. He goes, I'll see you guys in the morning and shuts the door. And, <laughs> mm, 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 really? Great. Yeah. Really? It's like a uh, rabbit, man. What about, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so, by the time you get back around to your room, he's had enough. He's called no bono. Thank God. <laughs> Can we We're, go to sleep now? No yeah, mask. I'm going to straighten up a bit. Look around. I'm going to check, uh, you know, pretty thoroughly to see if there's anything that was left behind. <laughs> sure. Uh, investigation roll. Okay. Uh, Okay, this is going to be pretty high. 19 plus 7, so 26. Doesn't appear to be anything. Doesn't appear to be anything? Okay, with that in mind, then, yeah, I'm just going to pick everything up. I'm going to press to digitate our stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God, because I hate cleaning. Yeah, and, yeah. and our bed <laughs> and our linens. <laughs> and uh, There was no soiled... Or soiling of anything. It was just better safe than sorry. Disarray. Exactly. Sure. And I, I see it at Camille. It's just like, uh, this is just getting weirder and weirder by the moment. Yeah. Um, Let's go to bed and we'll wake up in the morning and do better. <laughs> where is the so. time of medallion? Who's asking? Me. Uh, it's in my uh, bag of holding, which is on me. Okay. So. Ha ha. I, I thought I thought one of you had it in mm -hmm. your possession. Oh yeah, so I, I just wanted to double check. It. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, whatever the interlopers were looking for, they must okay. not have found it. it to err err on the side of caution, uh, Zadar's going to cast alarm. Sure, again. Mm -hmm. Well, wait, I can cast. The thingy. What thingy? Uh, Web. No, no. <laughs> well, you're already in the room. You don't need to cast your Leoman's tiny hut or any whatever that. Thing well, is. but anybody could come in. Right? Well, with the alarm, we're gonna know if they do. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Night passes uneventfully, giving way to week two. What would you like to do today? Uh, well, uh, I think Java is in order. So we still we haven't find found Mortimer. No, we have not seen Mortimer. We should keep an eye out for today or make a concerted effort to try to find him. Uh, Zadar, D6. Three. Three as well. Uh, whatever you're doing today, 
yield zero results. Oh. You eat, you look around, you talk to people, you find out that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Raleigh Espinoza still in the clink. Okay. Does, right. Can he have visitors? Not today, he cannot. How about tomorrow? You'll have to come back tomorrow. Okay. We'll make day, that a pri priority. Day seven, Camille, D6 against me. Five. Okay, what do you want to do today? Uh, I think we need to go talk to Raleigh. D12 against me? Twelve. Twelve. Ha <laughs> ha. Reroll. Ten. Three. Uh, there was an incident, and he is currently being tended to by clerics. He is oh. unavailable for the day. And what happened? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Slipped on a bar of fall. soap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He slipped on a bar of soap. Yeah. <laughs> He, he he tripped over his piss bucket <laughs> twice <laughs> okay i guess we look for mortimer again yes, yes. investigation checks both of you okay uh yeah i would imagine to search for mortimer we would be going probably to the library or I have 20 not natural uh what is it? Investigation? Yep. Uh, seven. Uh, 16. At noon, as you scour the city and see the sights, uh, you hear a familiar voice. Oi, friends. Uh, once again, Phineas Ferb has found you at lunch. Phineas. He is, cur he is currently eating sushi on a stick, courtesy of Butt Hut. Uh, he points out, hey, you know, the other day when you told me to keep an eye out for somebody who looked like me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I saw him. He's really tall. Where is he at? Oh, uh, I saw him yesterday. <laughs> I tried where did to you see him? I tried to find you guys, but I, I couldn't. Uh, where did you see him yesterday? Uh, I saw him in the triangle right here. The triangle. Okay. Yep. And where uh, is Melis? Melis is on the other side. Uh, he was searching for a book. And what was your question, David? Uh, is Melis the purple building next to the red building, or Melis is over here? Melis is up here by the dock. Oh, okay. Uh, you have not been to these two locations. Oh, okay. All so right. he doesn't know what Mortimer was doing. Uh, he was looking for a book. Uh, okay. Where Did he at? happen to mention what he, which book he was looking for? Uh, I didn't talk to him. Hmm. Why not? You said to just keep an eye out for him. <laughs> uh, what stores what, was he looking at in particular for a book? Uh, I was at the parchment shop because I am making a copious amount of notes. Because as you well know, I'm trying to go ahead and investigate your time travel dilemma. And in doing so, I need to go ahead and keep my notes organized. Otherwise, I get all confused. So I thought uh, that it might be prudent, if you will, if I went ahead and blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. blah. Uh, long story short, he was in the parchment shop uh, and there are a Didn't. few books available in the parchment shop so okay. mortimer was in the parchment shop correct okay um and did you notice where he went when he left oh i had to get back my lunch hour was over of course um all right um uh, the parchment did he shop. seem okay i didn't talk to him uh he seemed tall he's very well, tall no I... very dashing good looking man <laughs> I understand that, but did there seem to be anything unusual about him other than his height? No, he seemed very disconcerted about uh, the individual not having a book, pointing out, uh, what was it, uh, last time I was here you had it. And what, did you hear what book it was? I did not. Mm. Did I, what was your question? I... I've forgotten it. I got so, so intrigued with... Uh... 
you know, uh, Phineas's, uh, yeah, litany of uh, explanations. Sure. I, um, I, I tell Camille, and maybe we should go and uh, check the parchment shop. We probably should. Yeah. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll we'll make our way there then. Uh, as you head down the side street, uh, again, you saw Just the, the coffee thing. shop on the way. <laughs> uh, no, you've already passed that one. Okay. So, right. uh, as you head towards the triangle is what they call it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you pass this large, uh, food establishment. It is a tavern. And as you pass by, you hear, oi, friends. And slowly I turn. <laughs> Turning around in the crowded street. The street is narrow with a lot of vendors here, but coming out of the tavern establishment is none other than Zeppelin. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> my friends, look, I have found my nephew here. Aerosmith and Suki are present, right. looking a little bit peaked. So uh, they you... can suck each other's face some more. Uh, I have told them to maintain their discipline here. <laughs> Please, have you eaten? We could eat again. Um, you sure? I, I missed you at dinner. I. Uh, we have an explanation, and we shall tell you about it. <laughs> they were in jail, Uncle. <laughs> Uh, exactly. <laughs> Zeppelin takes that as well as could be expected. It ah. wasn't us. Us. <laughs> uh, you go in, uh, you sit down at a table, uh, the dishes are still present, and uh, the little red-headed waitress uh, says, I thought you guys left. Uh, oh, it, uh, Zeppelin explains that he wants uh, his friends to get some food and drink on him uh by all means uh you guys are allowed to order they have a wide variety they have surf and turf they do not have pizza uh they do have poached fish uh, <laughs> but they do, have, they, do, they do have surf and turf do so they have hamburgers they have something called the marquee sandwich <gasps> which is a hamburger I will okay, well, we'll take the marquee. <laughs> okay. uh, so, Zeppelin. So, did you do hard time? <laughs> ah, not that hard. <laughs> not as hard as we wanted. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that's a sex joke. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, he listens intently to your explanation uh, and points out that he has heard rumors that the Aarakocra are none too happy with you guys no we that that we already knew and now you know why well the good uh, news is the prince is going to be okay well that's good well, that's uh, nice uh, that's nice to hear um have you ever heard of the name riley espinosa riley espinosa nope i've heard of his uh maybe a relative raleigh espinosa that's the name. Sorry. The accent, dude. Sorry. Uh, and what so... do you know about him? Oh, he's in jail. For what? Uh, apparently there was some kind of domestic dispute. Uh, yeah, we were there, Camille, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, what do you know about this individual? He points at the door where Colonel Clank is standing. He goes, he's the one that arrested you. Uh, he's a frequent visitor. He uh, he likes to rent our balloons. For what uh, purpose? I don't really ask a lot of questions in his line of work. He's uh, known as more of a sky pirate. A sky pirate? What is his line of work? Interesting. He's a smuggler. <laughs> I would imagine. Uh, ha has Mr. Espinosa ever uh, had any problems with the, the local authority besides last night? He used to own a shop here. Um, 
Did it have parchment? No. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. It had uh, belongings of questionable origin. Oh. Is, is that sh shop still around, or is it under new management? Uh, I believe it is uh, available for purchase. It's uh, about a block and a half behind us. Oh, okay. I, I mean, is it still occupied where these questionable items are still within? Uh, no, I believe uh, it's right here. I believe uh, your colonel shut it down, and I believe all of the uh, assets, Everything's... as they were, have been seized. Okay. Okay. And stored <clears throat> by top men. Uh, he continues to go ahead and talk to you. He goes, oh, oh, you must meet this man, Deacon. Oh, Deacon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your friend, Deacon Jones, comes over and is widely uh, greeted by <laughs> Zeppelin. Uh, but when and I sees, wave at him. When he sees you two, uh, the smile disappears. Hey, Hello, didn't we see you at the whorehouse the other day? No, you saw me at the lounge. No, I don't think so. The peekaboo lounge. Yeah, but you were fucking. Mm -hmm. I, I was actually getting a massage. My uh, normal girl was unavailable. Yeah, I don't think that's what you were doing. <laughs> oh, well, how was your massage, Deacon? Ooh. Did this new girl uh, get the job done? Yeah, I had a lot of back problems, uh, probably from leaning over and getting smacked by your quarter staff, young lady. Uh, <laughs> but she managed to work the kinks out. Uh, oh, that's evidently, good. it took a long time. <laughs> so what happened to your regular girl? She was unavailable. I was told she was sick. Well, she was sick. Uh, well, that's well, a shame. Zeppelin? You and I must have lunch at some point in time. I must go. Uh, it's time for afternoon vespers. Uh, it is nice to see. Enjoy your day. Uh, Thank you, Deacon. And he walks out as he passes. Does vespers Point. happen at the Peekaboo Lounge? Vespers happens at the chapel. Are you sure? Are you he sure? walks. He walks out without comment, and that brings us to the end of afternoon on day seven okay lunch with zeppelin with zeppelin and uh, it was productive uh, we learned a little more about mr espinoza and i'm not going to try to pronounce the first name because my raleigh 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 fingers, raleigh fingers espinoza raleigh raleigh is it that a sticky fingers espinoza wasn't there a cigar Ra Raleigh Fingers was a pitcher for the A's. Well, I don't the, know about that. And I remember thinking mustache. about a cigar box. Yeah, right. uh, yes. pilgrim hats. Yeah, Dutch Masters. Uh, yeah. Okay. David, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. It's, an, it's intriguing. It is, I'll give you that much. <laughs> so, and we even got to fight tonight. So yeah, we did. We did. So yeah, yeah. So, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? I had a good time. I liked it. Very uh, good. Yeah. I think it was productive. Yeah. It yeah. was productive. Of you course, guys we have along. to spend here like, <clears throat> what, four weeks, seven weeks? Uh, another two and a half. Okay, yeah. Before we have our answers, unless we meet Mortimer first. <laughs> yep. That's the frustrating part. Where the hell is he? Yep. He's somewhere. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we're getting you out of here before 10 o'clock. We know some of you like to watch that other show, and that's fine. Follow us on Twitch. Follow yeah, us on Kyle. Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, uh, hit up the link. If you want to buy women's panties, yeah, we, we got that. Uh, I particularly like the Stab. My husband's a perv. Backstab one. Backstab one, I think, is rather oh, clever. Because that is on the back. The others Perverts. are all on the front, I think. Perverts. <laughs> uh, don't forget, if you need some custom dice, and who doesn't, uh, go over to Twitter, at Pirate Dog Dice. Check them out. 
And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success, you can check out Odd Fish Games, over 60 adventure sets available. And they also have the shine system to write gooder than me. Folks, there is no Margu game. There is no one shot this Saturday. Uh, we nope. will be traveling. Uh, so we will see you next Tuesday on Between the Rolls. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, big kiss and wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody.